Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside me today. Today I'd like to take a stare at Muck Boots, in particular the Woody Max, and kind of give my first impressions and review on them, as this is a uh, boot that I purchased for this year, and particularly to hunt in the cold weather. The Woody Max line, of course, has the camouflage. It is 5mm uh, neoprene. It is fleece lined on the inside. It is incredibly, incredibly comfortable. I will say this is by far the most comfortable pair of rubber uh, neoprene boots I put on when I was uh, kind of shopping around I tried lacrosse on I've tried muck on and, and one other and just the muck was just too comfortable um, I'll do a little fitting here for you in, in a little bit um, just fit and finish on it's really superb all the seams are really well stitched or glued they have the pull tab uh, to get the uh, elongated uh, uh, you know calf and everything up over your leg back into the heel has the uh, grippers on it so you can use your other foot to kick the boot off good traction on the bottom you can see these boots have seen a little bit of the field i just kind of washed them off after uh, the last time i was just out the thing that sold me with Mux over any other boot was the ability to get it on and off but more in particular not that uh, in that way but in this way where you can fold the boot down and make it a half boot a this assists in drying because now the uh, inside of the boot is allowed to air out a little bit easier these are very tall boots putting them on a boot dryer you need extenders and they might stay wet for a little bit longer so I like the ability you can fold it down which makes getting it on a little bit easier and let me show you how that's done so we'll put the left boot on first, which is the full boot. Not that big of a deal. Muck boots are meant to be worn with the pants on the inside. And the thing that I like to do, and you know, most people probably don't do this, but it's a little bit weird, is I'll just take my pant and I'll fold it over, and I'll tuck my sock over my pants just like that, just to kind of keep it, uh, keep it on there. Super easy on and off. Slip right on. I'm not wearing a thick sock right now. This is just, a, I'm just wearing a standard, you know, jersey sock, Nike sock kind of thing. Uh, but it definitely slips on and off very easily. We'll do the right one, same exact way. Fold my sock down. Tuck my pan over. And then just getting in, I don't have to pull on anything. I can just pop my foot right in. And then I can fold the boot up over. And that's that. Definitely a really comfortable boot. I've hunted uh, for several hours and walked for several hours in them. Not a single problem. Now, the getting off with that full length boot, and I'll do the left foot again, you have that kind of that toe kick on the back, and I'm not wearing a thick sock. It takes a little bit of coercing, but that's really not that bad. I can get away with that. Um, I tried on Under Armour and I tried on lacrosse boots and I was sitting there two hands wrenching it at my foot sitting down in a chair and I just this sold me uh, the ability to take it off but if you want to try the half boot you can just sit down fold over and then you can literally just it pops right off I mean you got nothing and then if you want to fold it back up of course it just pulls right back over itself. So with all the positive things that I have had to say so far about the boot, do I have any negatives? Yes, and unfortunately it's something that really frustrates me um, beyond words. These boots are about 170 bucks at my local sporting goods store that I bought them from, um, and that's a pretty good chunk of change uh, for a pair of boots. Of course, they're going to last me for a very long time. Um, and like I said, they're very waterproof. They're incredibly comfortable, which I was very excited about. And then I sat in 32 degree weather for about four hours and I was frozen solid. I don't put much, if any, stock into the temperature ratings of clothing or from particularly boots, but that should be able to handle a 31, it was a 31 degree day, no wind whatsoever, no snow, no rain, just I think it was like a five to seven mile an hour wind, super easy bright blue sunny sky so I was in the sun part of the morning got in the stand around 6 30 yeah, a little before 6 30 and I sat there till about 7 about 7 I started, started thinking I think my toes are getting cold uh, and then around 7 30 I was like they are completely frozen solid and I sat there till about 9 15 9 30 and it, they were they were at, to the point where it hurt like that painful frozen so I was really disappointed uh, in the the temperature comfort level. I was wearing a two layer sock system. We had a base layer hiking sock underneath of a uh, cotton polyester blend sock. So I'm not wearing merino wool, but you figure a two layer sock system and this boot, which is rated to negative 40, that it should have been able to handle a pretty mild 30, 31 degree Pennsylvania morning. I wore them just the other day where the temperatures dipped into the high 50s. Perfectly toasty, no problem with it whatsoever. But I was very disappointed uh, with that temperature 
um, and ability because I was really planning on using these boots as a late season boot. I do a lot of hunting in the late season. We get a lot of snow here in PA, although not recently, um, but we, we've gotten a lot of snow in the past and I've often worn boots that just get soaked um, doing deer drives in that late season or just standing on stand. They just get soaked after a while. And I was really excited to try these out in that late season, but that's obviously not going to be the case unless I'm mobile. The temperature rating, like I said, I don't put much stock into it, was still very adequate for the types of winters we see here in PA in the Northeast. And it's just so far, it's not performed uh, to, that, to that comfort rating. Um, in terms of the temperature. Everything else has been spot on, it's been great. So that's all for this video and that's all for my review on the Muck Woody Max. If you have any questions about this boot or any of the other gear I use, you can feel free to always hit me up over on Facebook. I'll put a link down in the description. You can always leave a comment here on YouTube. I hope you're able to get outside and enjoy the sport of archery and archery hunting if you so choose. And of course, enjoy God's beautiful creation and we'll get to see you next time.